Hey, it's Xmas. This is a guide on how to solve the arrow triangulation steps of Elite Clues using the Alt-1 Clue Solver tool. The first step is to open the Clue Solver. Either select it in your taskbar, the top right of your RuneScape window, or alternatively, you can right-click on your clue, hover over the Read option, and use the key combination Alt and 1 on your keyboard. Once you have this window open, select the read option on your clue to reveal the arrow of the compass. Now select the unlock any option on your solving tool. It will bring you to this window. If you would like to navigate here yourself, then you can select the map tab and then pick the second icon down for these steps. This tool is designed around using teleport locations to triangulate the correct place to dig. You can use almost any type of teleport. I find the Ring Teleport to the Grand Exchange, either Fortune or Luck of the Dwarves, and the Kandarin Monastery Teleport from Ardoin Easy Achievements to consistently reveal the spot in two steps, but sometimes I will use lodestones. Using the tool is as follows. Right-click a teleport option and hover over your intended target. For example, the Grand Exchange option on this ring. Now use the key combination Alt and 1 on your keyboard. You will see now at the top of your solver that the teleport location you recorded will now be selected in the solver. Now teleport to the location you have told the solver you would like to use. Making sure your compass arrow is visible and you are at said location, press the location button on your solver to paint a line based off the arrow's direction. If you like, select the show known locations option to give you a better idea of the potential correct dig locations. The most optimal way to solve it in two lines is to make a cross over the spot. To paint another line, right-click a teleport option and hover over your intended target. For example, the Kandarin Monastery option in your spellbook. Now use the key combination Alt and 1 on your keyboard and teleport to the location. When you arrive, click on the location button. The cross we have made is decent, but it still leaves a few potential dig locations as the teleports are not 100% accurate. I will show you how to select lodestones. Right-click the lodestone icon at the bottom left of your mini-map or inside your spellbook. Hover over the first option, lodestone network. Now use the key combination Alt and 1 on your keyboard. Teleport to the lodestone you wish to use. You will see in your solver that a drop-down selection has opened. Manually select the lodestone from this menu. Alternatively, to bypass the drop-down menu, after using a lodestone teleport, you can hover over the second option of the lodestone icon and use the key combination Alt and 1 on your keyboard to instantly select it. Once again, making sure your selected location is correct, press the location button to paint the line. You can see now that this is almost definitely the correct dig location. If you need to restart or do another compass, you can click the clear markers button to erase the lines you have painted. One last useful feature is a custom location. I like to use this when I initially receive the compass clue and want to paint a line from my current location. To do this, navigate to the Map tab and to the second option. Find your location on the map and double click to select it. Now you can click the Location button to paint your custom line. Many teleports, including objects, can be used. It is up to personal preference. As a last example, to use a Ring of Kinship, you would hover the Teleport option and use the key combination Alt plus 1. And after arriving at the location, you would use the location button. Finally, if you want, you can change the keybind for Alt 1 to something of your choosing. To do this, open the settings, navigate to the hotkeys tab, and change the first option, main hotkey. This will impact the other apps. Thank you for watching. I hope this helped, and good luck with your clues.